going to be easy, I promise. So create a new canvas that's a little bit bigger than the size of your watermark. Next, click on the rectangular marquee tool, which is the second tool in your toolbox. And then create a really, really thin rectangle on the left edge of your canvas. Right click on that rectangle, click on fill, and then change its opacity to 1%. And then click OK. Do the same thing on the bottom edge of your canvas. Right click, click on fill, opacity is 1%. And then place your watermark on your new canvas. And then I'm going to save this as a new watermark. And I'm going to name it watermark 2 on my desktop. And now that I have my new watermark, I'm going to repeat the same steps that we did earlier. I'm going to create a new action and name it watermark2, if I can actually type it. Again, place my new watermark on the picture and adjust its size. Place it in the middle for now. Click on the check mark or hit enter and then add another step which is to select all click on the move tool and then align the watermark to the bottom edge and left edge of the canvas as you can see the almost invisible lines that we added to our watermark using the rectangular marquee tool helped me maintain enough space between my watermark and the edges of my canvas so now we can stop recording and then run the image process or script just like before. We're going to be watermarking the same pictures, but we're going to be saving the watermark to pictures in a different folder. I'm just going to create another one called upload to. And then I'm going to choose the watermark to as the um, action to run. So let's see if this works. So now Let's take a look at the results. So the very first picture that we watermarked compared to a vertically oriented picture. Yay, look at that. Yes, it worked.